the way they are in school, achievement, education, they do their own. All of the ministries, they do their own. The common concept in budgeting. Focus on state power, patient and budget.
is that we have a road which is development. That is what they are telling us. So that you will be able to say, these are the problems. When they said identify the issues, the problems in our different communities, you will say this is one key challenge that we have. And then in taking to the Ministry of Economic Planning, we discuss it. At the end of the day, the matter is taken into the budget. She said we do she said that we have to follow it up to make sure, for example, if the road will enter, there must be certification. Are we following it? So the community will not go to sleep. The market people will not go to sleep. All of us have one challenge or the other. Now, that is what they have come to teach us today. So that we will understand it and open our ears. Now, all the things they will teach us, she said to us in her closing remark that we must move from here to take action in our different communities and associations. That's what they have said. And I hope you understand this lesson. Thank you very much. Time now, Delta State Government has been very much active in terms of budgeting issues. It seems that budget is a very important issue to government. Therefore, there must be an active, functional relationship between the social development and human capital development. So if these two people, the community and the government, cannot work very well, then these items Infrastructural development and human capital development will not come up. No money, no work. No money, no development. Is it not true? Yes. So in our consultation before this meeting with the communities, we were able to discover that capital development plans in their various communities. So if they have this, item one, two, three, this is what we want to do for this year 2019 or 2018. Out of this item one to three or five, let us pick one or two and submit this to government. Let government get to be involved in this process. Maybe for you, unity, educate them on this. Once that is done, you will see that there is going to be a fair relationship between government and the communities. I do not know how many communities government is done. What we call participatory what? Budget. It's a process that communities are supposed to be involved by local government officials to so know the needs of each community. When this is done, then the budget will be built. Maybe community, government may not think about the women in the community, their needs. What of those who are disabled? Government may not even think about that. But if real sense of human segment, that is the truth. We are here today to be educated on this. So that more and more people be enlightened on how the budget. You and I are part of the process. I'm sensitized. This madam will carry out while our needs to government. So they can of Niger Delta monitoring group. Only want to say a few things. And it goes this way. If by special arrangement you are here. I want to encourage you to be consistent and focused so that by the time we are done with this training for the two days, that when we get back home, the changes we are at will start from our family to the society so that the logo that the Nigerian youth are lazy will be completely eliminated. By the special grace of God, you are welcome. No, it's different. In over 19 countries, I will have 19 at least. So we are like a confederation. For those who read government and or learn it about government, we are all independent countries, but we have common objectives and common goals. So for us in Nigeria, we are called Oxfam in Nigeria at the moment, but we have Oxfam America, Oxfam Tibet, Oxfam Great Britain, Oxfam Netherlands, and all of that. But we have common objectives of fighting poverty. So what we do is we pull resources together and then identify where the needs are then intervene in those areas. And then what are, what are those areas that we intervene in? Basically, whatever we do, like I said, is to reduce inequality and poverty and then work around gender issues as well. But in, in practical terms here in Nigeria, what do we do? We identify about four or five key areas where we, we, we work in. Number one is youth entrepreneurship. We call it WIP. Work in progress, that's what that program is called. 
But basically what they do there is to see how they can help you know, young people to become employable. Most times we say our youth are not employable, our youth come out from school and they are too fresh to just going to work straight. But these guys identify such youth and then they need to bring them into the work environment. And they also expose them to internship, internship programs, both in a meeting last Friday or in a workshop with young people last Friday. And one of the young people from when they were in school all their life. But while in school, you can also still get experience. The experience is that if you are in school and you really want to get experience, what do you do? Say you are say, studying, studying accounting. Look for an accounting firm close to you and then go there to volunteer. You might say it's something in another office environment. And before you know it, that's probably registering your CV in that program. We have two other or three other programs that we intervene in. We call it Economic Justice and Life. That's one of the biggest programs here in Nigeria. What we do here, well, it's, it's huge. So to break it down now, we we'll take, we'll take plenty of time. But we we'll have a program we call Agroforestry. It's within livelihoods. We have a program we call, um, uh, what do you call it now? I'm on eight promises. That's what he said. So I think that we are going to hold our all to our chests and make sure that we all work with him, work in tandem with government, so that we can always deliver. Well, we are moving to a very crucial part of this event, and the representative of the Commission of Finance, the man and the woman who holds Expectations of the Delta Central. That at the end of the program, that we may be able to be knowledgeable enough to empower our community members with the right information about budgeting. That we be economically empowered. Number two. Number three. For the government to be involved in the development of our community. Number four, to know the expected budget and financial entitlements. We are looking at the situation where after these two days training, you will not you will not just go back home and keep all the materials you are giving them but you will impart the knowledge to other members of your community and also engage with government on all the issues that will be raised here, issues of taxation and also issues of budgeting. The idea is that budgeting needs to be participatory. Community members need to contribute to budget because government officials will not sit in their offices and understand the needs of the community. If community members don't conduct their needs assessment and communicate the reports to government so that they know what is required to promote development in their community. So we expect that at the end of these two days training, we will Hello. Uh, and finding entry points for CSOs and community people. Now, when you look at budgeting, budgeting is a very long one, a big one. If I look into budgeting today, those budgeting today, you will not be here today. So all the terms, technologies, um, definitions, all the things you need to know about projects. But one thing I want us to understand, at the federal level, there's what we call NTSS, that we can set or strategy. The data sector strategy is a three-year plan that tells, okay, this is what is the direction, the policy direction of the government of this period of time, I think, that is in the world of care. Am I clear? That the project is being released doesn't mean that everything there was in the budget for that year. There might be means that the government will look at, okay, this is what we want to do. But how it comes first? What is the major need of the people? Maybe in Asala, for example, maybe this road is one of the major roads. And we have other streets, other roads. We look at, okay, now, how many persons are using this road? And how bad is the road? It's not like the normal budget 
I tend to come here. This one is unconventional. So my first went to unconventional university, right? Some went to conventional university. But their curriculum is almost similar. Just like the unconventional university has some form of flexibility. It gives you time to do other things. So my first call it by time, depending on what you call it. What is unconventional for it? Based on the understanding you have about unconventional. And somebody that was. They taught the project lab, tracking it, uh, with a pro program code of 2023111808. Supply and installation of electric poles, objective to light up the communities. Um, economic code is 3020103. Location is two volumes. Function code is 70. For three five. Our local project is for twenty eighteen is fifteen million. Cash we could know there was no provision for it at the twenty seventeen budget. Um shadow project was saying that two million is not ideal. First project is uh with the program code of zero two three one 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 zero eight sorry eight zero two nine. Reinforcement of electrical supply. Objective is to rehabilitate all the electrical system at the location. Um, economic code is 230203. The location is a low chair through Ubadeco Street or in Asada. Um, Portion code is 7435. Allocated budget is 2 million. Cash inflow is nothing because at the 17 budget there was no provision. We are saying our shadow project for that street is the fast street in Asabat, well known street in Asabat, and we are saying. Five, uh, two million dollars to get them a proper revision of the electrical and like this was sent to for five million. The fifth project we're tracking is with the program code of two zero three four one eight zero zero four five. It's construction of its cylindrical stroke along a road and set the objective to ease movement of vehicles and goods. Economic code is two three zero two. 
leaders as I put pressure on them, they will also be transferring part of the pressure to you. So we have the process and we have to sustain the process. One of the groups talked about sit-down training. We also have to impart the knowledge and information to other people. Because when we have a lot of people being part of the process, then it will not be easy for us to be intimidated. Because actually monitoring and engaging is not easy. It's not something that can be achieved in two months. It's not something that can even be achieved in 12 months. But it's also something that can be achieved within a short period. Because we are making that effort to lead a press linkage with every other stakeholder in the society. So please, we have to make this, take this very seriously. And for the Quebec Council staff and Secretarial staff, I want to say thank you for putting this together and thank you for standing the pressure I am putting on all of you. And for Pius, our partner, our brother, our comrade, thank you very much. You are always there to energize the room and ensure that everything is flying and nobody is born. I want to thank all of us. The photographer and the video person, thank you very much. Every time we call on you, you always apply to us and you are always there. Even when certain times is at a very short notice. Thank you for always giving us that support. For the hotel, I can see one person there, so you will take the appreciation to every other staff in the hotel for all the support and good services. I want to believe that I have not received any complaints, so I want to believe everybody is comfortable with your services. So can we all stand and appreciate ourselves as staff or model? Please, if I don't pronounce your name well, forgive me. Victor, do you anything? Victor, do you have anything? Christy, you can have both. Christy, you can. Go forward. Not anything, not